What is good guys, Dopey back here with another GTA 5 video, however in this video I'm going to be talking about the best jets to buy, um, pretty much uh, just the best jets overall um, from price range to quality and to what you're going to actually get on GTA 5 Online. So as you guys can see I'm loading into uh, GTA 5 Online uh, for sure, I'm going to be teaching you guys some uh, tips and pointers to what you need to buy and definitely um, the overall experience of your jets. So pretty much now that I'm loading into GTA 5 online, uh, pretty much I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit more about the aircrafts and what is the best ones to buy um, in this video. I will have a cool intro here soon. I'm definitely looking into uh, to overall quality of the intros and stuff like that for my videos um, pretty much. Uh, the more subscribers the better though guys. I'd be pretty legit you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys see this video and definitely look at it. And definitely you know, give me a, you know, a nice, you know, a nice thanks or something. I do try my best in these videos, uh, however. So pretty much now we're going to go ahead and get into the best aircraft you can buy. Uh, especially for overall price. Now we're going to go into Warstock. Uh, the best aircrafts you guys can buy. Uh, the first one would have to be the Rogue. Uh, 1 million right now. 1.8 million. For the price, it is overall amazing uh, to have uh, as your price. Sorry about my dogs barking in the background, guys. They are barking uh, quite normal, especially during the daytime. Um, overall, this jet right here is pretty much amazing. Um, you pretty much don't want to have the the bombs, uh, the bombs that I have, I will be changing those real fast, especially for overall quality. Uh, if you do go ahead and you buy, say, the Custer, you have to have a direct hit on your target, otherwise they won't die. So the best bet is to go and use explosives. Um, they do kill, and uh, pretty much right away. Uh, Incinerator is pretty good, especially if you are trying to catch your opponents on fire. Uh, gas is really well too, especially if you're just trying to have a gas environment uh, to enclose people and lose their health. So pretty much I switched mine back to uh, to bombs overall. You can have explosive cannons, which is cool. You can have everything a jet has but in a plane. Um, so you can have bombs, primary weapons, and definitely secondary weapons, which homing missiles, which makes this jet overall the best one to buy. Uh, in my opinion, uh, for the price... Overall, this jet is number one, uh, just because it gets explosive rounds, bombs, and definitely, um, you can put on liveries if you guys want to, however, I choose not to. So basically, let's exit the hangar, I will show you guys a little bit more about the plane. Uh, like I said, guys, this, uh, video is just about quality of what you're buying, and, you know, pretty much what you guys should have. So as you guys can see, the, uh, the flying motion. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the flying motion about this plane is very is very fast. Uh, it's very fast, very quick, and it's a two seater. So, which you can give your um your friends the ability to drop bombs or use the homing missiles when they choose to. Um, they can also use the flares <coughs> if they really want to. So, pretty much, let's get into this. You can also drop bombs. Like I said, I would rather use explosives because they kill with a radius. So pretty much you have bombs, you can go ahead and just put those away and go in for a kind of a strike, uh, just say if I'm going in towards a strike, I can also use my explosive rounds, which is pretty unique about this plane, you can get everything a jet has, but with bombs included, which makes this plane overall a top pick in my opinion uh, to this plane. Like the homing missiles, for instance, you can get them. Go ahead and lock on to whatever you want. Boom, direct kill right there, as you guys seen. Uh, this plane is overall a, a pretty good pick. I would choose it, definitely. The landing is a little weird. Um, you have to get used to the landing, for sure. If not, you will definitely die. As you can see, a little bump right there. So pretty much like going back into your hangar. A lot of people don't know, but you can easily just fly right into your hangar and it'll stop you uh, if you're flying really, really fast. 
Okay, let's get on to the next jet. Um, the next jet you guys would want to have definitely is the Molotov, um, for its price range, definitely, and just its uniqueness and more to add to the plane. Uh, the jet, my bad. As you can see, I've decked out my Molotov, and it is the number one plane for camos, especially if you guys are camo freaks about it. So let's go ahead and check out the camos. Uh, like I said, guys, this is overall, um, you, do, you do not get bombs and or explosive rounds, but the lock-ons are just amazing. Um, like I said, you can add whatever camo you guys really want to. Uh, it has a lot more camos, especially for the planes. Um, drop tanks, you know, you can add that. Uh, flares, uh, pretty much libraries, weapons are just homing missiles, and pretty much it sells for two million. This jet overall is amazing to use, uh, especially if you guys are in combat. I don't know why I exit the plane. <laughs> um, definitely this plane is definitely... This jet is one of the best ones to buy. Um, definitely overall, you can go ahead and buy this one if you guys want to. Uh, the next pick on my choice right now, as for a fighter jet... Uh, would have to be the pyro uh, definitely it's quick and speed definitely it's just overall amazing jet to use it also has camos I went ahead and put on a uh, a black camo uh, just for nighttime war or like kind of war zone kind of things going on here uh, the armor pretty much uh, it's the same thing as the Molotov pretty much but a little bit faster I think uh, definitely um, can also go ahead and add the the camos like I said um, they do have camos um, you can also go ahead and add the weapons which are just homing missiles which is kind of lame but it, it's what it, it, it is what it is uh, it's just like the laser functions just like the laser uh, the controls are not really that uh, easy to handle uh, like the Molotov but overall it, it is faster so pretty much I'll just go into pretty much a little bit more detail um, don't know why that happened uh, definitely don't know why that happened <laughs> um, so I'll pretty much just exit the the hangar and show you guys pretty much what I'm talking about uh, it does function really well the takeoff is pretty smooth uh, is this jet worth it too um, it is if you're into two seaters, but overall it's nothing different from the Molotov. And I'm pretty sure the Molotov is a little bit cheaper than um, this jet right here. It does have rounds like this, which are good for dogfighting. Um, but overall, trying to kill someone on the ground with one of those is definitely a pain. Um, pretty much you get lock-ons. You get lock if you're good at them, it does work good for combat, especially on ground. Um, but if you're not, overall, it's just not a good choice to, to go ahead and go bomb people with this. Pretty much, you can go ahead and lock on to people. Uh, like I said in this video, uh, these are planes that I'm talking about which ones are worth it. Uh, the, the Rogue is probably the number one worth it plane to buy, especially for its price. Like I said, guys, you can just crash into your hangar and you'll land right inside. Yeah, the Rogue is probably the definitely one, number one top pick to pretty much get um, as you just joined GTA 5 online. This plane is somewhat worth it. It's just a little bit too expensive for what it, for what it's worth. Um, definitely not my choice. Uh, definitely one right here. This plane right here. The this plane is worth it though too. Right here, um, the Starling. Uh, the LF-22 Starling is definitely worth it. Um, as for um, if you're trying to bomb or just have a dogfight, it does function really, really well. The wheels don't go up, but it's just a nice plane to have, especially if you're trying to dogfight. Uh, lasers have a hard time you know, killing you because they're too busy flying around in a circle, and all I have to pretty much do is just lock onto them and stay with them. Like I said, um, this, in this video, the planes that are worth it, probably this one right here for sure. Um, this plane is definitely worth dog fighting, um, but nothing over over exceeds the rogue for sure for its price and all you can add to the plane. But I hope you guys really found this video interesting. 
um, it's not too long, like I said, I'm pretty much just going through a little quick review about what is, you know, good to buy and what is not. I will be doing a laser video here soon, um, when it does release, however, uh, when it does release. Um, pretty much the, the one that does exceed every jet above its time right now, especially for seven years on GTA 5 Online, um, not seven years, but... <laughs> four years of being online uh the laser is definitely one of the most dominant jets if you guys can get access to it um it is definitely one of the most just amazing overall jets to use um the rounds are explosive you get lock-ons it's definitely worth it and i hope there's a bunch of camos you guys can add to the plane when it does come out overall if you can't do anything with the jet you can just store it there's no reason to buy it And this plane right here, right here, is definitely, uh, I didn't mean to say it twice, but this one right here is definitely something I would buy too. It's a great bomber, and you get cover fire from top, uh, pretty much. It is overall a great plane to have, especially, uh, it does cover around the whole plane, uh, especially when you are dog, or when someone's on your tail, you can easily just go ahead and lock on to them. The aimers are great like just great uh, I find this jet to be or this plane uh, especially for bombing raids um, definitely worth it to have uh, especially if you guys are doing bomber raids um, I will be doing an intro to my video here soon uh, definitely I'm looking into that right now actually uh, so don't be surprised if you guys see pretty cool intros coming soon uh, for my content um, if you guys are really, or if you guys want to go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for the most dope content and the most dope money glitches for GTA 5 Online. However, we are dry on um, like the content, like we're kind of dry on content. We're kind of dry on money glitches. We are kind of dry on all that kind of stuff. But it, it's definitely you know pretty cool to you know definitely talk about some things that are worth it and definitely aren't worth it. I will be buying that chopper over there here soon, um, just to basically do a little quick rundown about it since nobody really ever uses it. I think it would be great for sniping, especially a small chopper like that and going in ghost and you want to be a little hidden, uh, it's definitely worth it to buy. Uh, however, yeah, this is pretty much my video guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed it for sure. Um, definitely just different content, you know, definitely uh, talking about different jets and stuff to definitely buy. But for one million, I mean, come on, the Rogue is definitely worth it. Uh, it functions like it functions really well the bombing raids uh, the explosive rounds and the lock-ons are <laughs> what exceed every other jet in this uh, this hangar right now it may not be as fast as the pyro laser or you know anything in here but it definitely does exceed for its price but however guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications for my post and definitely have a lovely Sunday afternoon see you guys